going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be giving you an updated tour of my new york city apartment uh, i moved to queens about a year and a half two years ago and the apartment changed a little bit since then i also want to show you guys my room and my gaming setup because that's also changed a little bit since then in the last year and a half two years um, and I get a lot of questions from people in both just online and also in my personal life, people asking me, you know, where do you live in New York City? How much do you pay? How many bedrooms do you have? Uh, what is it like living there? Because a lot of people want to know, right? New York is a pretty big uh, destination for people to move to for various reasons. Usually it's like work related or something like that, or they just want to live in a big city and New York is one of the biggest cities in the world. So I wanted to give you guys an updated tour of my apartment. Hopefully the camera's not too shaky. Um, I am using a selfie stick here and I could see the camera's like wobbling a little bit, but hopefully it's not too bad. Anyway, let's start the tour. So this door that you see right behind me with the mirror, uh, this is the door to get into the apartment. So you walk in <clears throat> and immediately you have the kitchen, which is a very small, very small. Um, this is a two bedroom apartment in Astoria. Um, we're paying 1900 for this two bedroom apartment, I, me and my one roommate. Um, so it's very small. Both of us are, we work full time all the time, um, plus commutes and everything. We don't really spend that much time here throughout the week. Uh, we don't really cook that much either. Usually for me, like cooking is done in the morning, like breakfast and things like that. So a small kitchen isn't that big of a deal. Uh, my roommate does like cooking a lot more than me. Um, but again, we're not really here that much. So the small size of the kitchen is not that, uh, not that big of a deal. Um, because again, I mean, there's enough space here to do like most simple meals, but, um, yeah, nothing super crazy. Um, if you look behind me, uh, this is actually something that's new. My Again, my roommate's more into cooking than me, so he installed these racks. So that way we can hang all of the uh, pans, pots, and all sorts of different things. Behind me, we have the cabinets. So in here we have like some really boring, like basic kitchen stuff. These are the snacks, bread, and all sorts of pantry related things. Um, this is the refrigerator. I get a lot of comments. I've gotten a lot of comments about these magnetic um, spice jars that my roommate has. Um, <laughs> on Instagram, I posted like a story or something and everybody was like reacting to it. Like, oh my God, what is that? They are literally just magnetic spice jars and you can put little labels on them so that way you know what is what. So that's cumin and yeah. So if you guys, saw my Instagram, you might know what those are. But yeah, not much in the fridge. Um, not even gonna bother going in there. Freezer down on the bottom. It has its own little ice maker. Um, not that interesting, honestly. And then over here, we have more cabinet space for like uh, glasses, mugs, things like that. <clears throat> Dirty dishes. Uh, I did I did some dishes today, but then I used some more and I wasn't gonna clean them again for this video. So hopefully you guys don't care. Um, one cool thing about the apartment is that we actually can change the lights. So if I, I can actually dim the lights, actually you might not be able to tell cause it's, it's daytime, but, um, I can like raise and lower the lights. Yeah. You definitely cannot tell whether I do like that's max brightness and then yeah, it, you can really notice it at, in the nighttime, but yeah, that's something that I actually really like because, um, in the evening, I don't like it to be dark in here but I do like it when there's like some light. It's almost like mood lighting, but just for me. <laughs> um, behind me, <clears throat> this is another huge change. So right now, this is the kitchen over here. This is like the living room area. Very small, as you can tell, um, primarily because we have this futon here, but I'll get into that. So behind me is this gigantic rack. Um, that <clears throat> my roommate insisted that we we have, and I didn't really care because we you don't really we're not going to use this space very much. Um, but due to the lack of uh, cabinet space and drawers and things like that, um, he figured that this would be a good solution to store like dry goods like pastas and starches, flours, and all sorts of other stuff. Um, these are like dried fruits and nuts and things like that. And then we have obviously 
microwave and a toaster oven. That is my Ninja coffee maker. Um, I haven't even used that yet, honestly, if, I, if we're gonna be, if we're gonna be real here for the video. So that's that. Um, again, with the kitchen, we have these two bar stools. We did get four and you can fit four if this fut futon wasn't here. Um, but again, we're not here that often. The apartment's pretty small, so uh, there's very few occasions where we have tons of people here. So yeah, and by tons, I mean like six is like really, um, you were really pressed for space at six because you only have a couple stool stools in, in this futon. Um, but yeah, this futon came from my old apartment. Um, it is broken at this point. I don't know how that happened. I think it was during moving, but yeah, we don't really use this space too much. And then we have like a box of pop chips that I eat and whatever else he has over here. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen and living area, I guess you could say. Um, we do have like an intercom to contact us from the front door, but it's never worked. And I, I don't know, I've told the landlord about it that still doesn't work. This is the hallway. Um, you can tell because the audio probably just got a little bit better. Um, there's only one, um, uh, like, I guess closet in here. Oh no, I think something's falling. Wait, hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just like, you know, basic closet stuff, cleaning products and like all sorts of good stuff like that. I'm sure you don't really care about that. But uh, again, this video is mainly for people who are interested in moving in, into New York or Queens or Astoria or whatever, and you're curious to know you know, what apartments might look like. So this is the bathroom. It might get really loud in here because there's no way to turn on the light without turning on the fan. There's just one switch. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be kind of brief in here. It's a very small bathroom. Um, we installed shelves since I made the last video. Um, they were super easy to install. We got these at Target. And we basically just have like cologne, his hair product, uh, well, these are all hair products pretty much except for this Potpourri, I don't know. We got that a long time ago and never used it. Um, the shower is, uh, I mean, big enough. I've taken like two baths in here since we moved here. Um, it's fine, full bath, shower, and uh, yeah, nice. The, shower, the bathroom's, I guess, relatively modern and new, so I like that. Um, and then turning around here, there is the uh, sink and I'm probably getting terrible angles over here, but yeah um, Good stuff. There's one little mirror over there toilet is down here very small bathroom I mean, I don't know like <clears throat> How I can really convey the size like if I close the door like that's it man You're in the shower right now. So that's like we're, that's what we're doing here uh, Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Let's move out of here. It's probably really loud and whatever um, behind me is his room. So that was the closet. This is my roommate's room. His room is actually probably 10, 15% bigger than mine. Um, but he pays a little bit more in rent, uh, to compensate for that. So that's how we, how we do that. So this is my bedroom. Um, so if you look, I mean, from here, you can see like directly into the kitchen, basically pretty small apartment. That's it, right? We've gone, this is the last room. We've seen every room at this point. Um, so behind me, this is my game and bookshelf. Uh, you, if you've seen other videos of mine, you've seen this shelf, like older videos, I'm sure you've seen this. Down below, we have a six cube organizer and we have like some more cologne, some Amiibo that I had to stop collecting because I run out of space and they're too expensive and I wasn't really even using them. And then down here we have like ibuprofen, some like medicine and candles and things like that. And then the drawers have like different like linens and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so some pretty cool stuff over here, man. We got some, we got some PlayStation, PlayStation 2. We got some N64. We got some PS4, bunch of cool games. We got some um, albums up here. Actually, we have uh, Take Care, Still Sealed by Drake. This is, um, the glare in here is crazy. This is Under Pressure, Logic's first album on vinyl. And then behind there, I don't know if you can see, that's like an unofficial printing of Kanye West's graduation, I believe that was what it was called. Yeah, graduation. And then I have a, like, uh, 
expanded vinyl edition still sealed of Reasonable Doubt, which is um, Jay-Z's first album. So yeah, there was a period of time where I wanted to start collecting albums and I do still want to, but I don't have enough space and they're expensive. So yeah, I mean, I was going to hang them on the wall like I did at my old apartment, but during the move here, they got dented and like the... Um, the frames got dented and bent and stuff, and I don't think they would hold the weight now if I would actually put them up. So I have to get new frames, and at this point, it's been so long that I just don't care. So yeah, so that's that. Um, let's turn around. So this is my bed. Um, the room is small, but I do have a queen-size bed. So that's kind of my own fault. Um, my queen-size bed was perfect for my previous apartment, but uh, it's kind of tough in here. I had to get rid of the headboard and footboard because it just was way too massive at that point to fit in here with my desks and everything like that. So that's that. Um, I do have that lamp as well as the built-in ceiling light. And then I do have another lamp over there behind my monitors. Um, three out of the four bulbs in here are Philips Hue. So I could literally just say, hey Siri, change the lights to blue. And she does it, except for that one. Uh, all the other ones turn blue, though. So yeah, that's uh, one of the cool features about my room is that I can command the lights with my mouth. Um, that sounded really wrong. When I come home from work and my phone connects to home Wi-Fi, my lights are already on. Super cool. If I leave the apartment for too long, the lights shut off. So it's a really cool, like, that's probably one of my favorite, um, I guess you could say, like, non-necessary purchases like there's no reason to have lights like this but i have it set up so that way when i live stream on twitch chat can change my lights with just typing in certain commands and so i think that adds a lot of engagement to the live stream which i think is really cool so this is my closet um, i only have one closet in the room it's very very tiny very very disorganized this is where i keep like dirty laundry i have some shell um some drawers here plastic drawers to keep like controllers and cables and uh, all sorts of stuff like that. I have old like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, things like that. Um, up top is where I keep like different bed sheets and whatnot. And then behind me, um, you can see this is how I actually have my clothes. Most of my clothes are organized this way. If they're not in, if they're not in that closet, they're here. And uh, this was kind of like, I mean, this is really just a shelf unit, right? And it's pretty versatile. You could really do whatever you want with it. Um, I was gonna get a dresser for this apartment, but dressers are expensive, I found out, and also, there's not that much space. Like, a dresser here, if I was forced to have drawers, a dresser would, I would have maybe four or five drawers. So I wanted to get something that was even taller, and I could just put anything in. So it's kind of, it looks terrible, right? Like, it looks awful, because you see all the clothes, and, like, they are all folded and clean and everything like that, but they're kind of just, like, you can just see them. And I don't know, I hate it, but it was cost effective. This thing was like 70 bucks and dressers are more than that. Um, especially if you want one that holds this one, this much clothes. Um, and also it uses the space wisely cause it's taller than it is wide by a lot. So yeah, I would say this thing is probably like seven feet tall or something like that or six, six, six and a half. I don't know who cares. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's that. Now, let's move over to my gaming setup. I'm actually gonna switch the camera around so you guys can see. This is probably what a lot of you guys are probably a bit more interested in. Shout out to Wolf of Wall Street, probably my favorite movie. Um, let's sw swap the cameras and, and we'll show you the gaming setup. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the gaming setup. Pretty anticlimactic because it doesn't look that cool in this lighting. Uh, but this is where everything happens. This is where I record my videos. This is where I live stream. This is where I get my gameplay. This is where I edit videos. This is this is the station. This is the workstation here um, for everything that I do for my YouTube channel, for Twitch, for social media, any sort of editing or projects that I have. This is where it happens. Um, so let's let's take a seat here. This is I just have like a very basic chair that I got at like Office Depot for like I think this was like sixty bucks. Um, no gaming chair required. I don't really understand gaming chairs, honestly. But anyway, so this is a double monitor setup. It is also a double computer setup, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but we do have a third screen. This screen is where my gaming consoles are hooked up. So my PS4, my Xbox 360, um, and pretty much everything else, my Nintendo Switch, Wii U. I have a, a Wii in here, a Dreamcast, a GameCube, an N64, 
I got everything except for an Xbox One, basically. So this is the television I use for that. Um, I prefer a smaller monitor, honestly, but this TV was given to me for Christmas a couple years ago, and it works fine. I have no real reason to go out and spend the money on a new monitor, so yeah. Um, plus, I just bought this one for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I think it was. Um, this is an, an Asus, I guess, gaming monitor. Um, really, really cool. I will put more specs in the description for everything. But yeah, so two monitors, two PCs. We're going to talk about that. Um, right now, you're seeing one computer, and this computer is the one that I did for my iBuyPower unboxing. It's a bit dusty right now. Um, I, I dusted it like a couple of days ago, but yeah, it builds, it gets dust really quickly. Um, it actually looks worse on camera than it, than it is actually in, in person. Like it looks really, really bad on camera, but I promise it's not that dusty. Um, so yeah, I turned off all the lights. I wish I could turn off. If anyone knows how to turn off the G force, um, lights, please tell me this thing, like my head is right here when I'm sleeping. And so it, with this thing, with all the lights and fans and everything like that, it is like so ridiculously hard to fall asleep with even just this light on, let alone the um, controllable lights, LEDs that I have on the side and all the other like fan lights and whatnot. Um, really cool concept. It looks awesome. But again, if I'm trying to sleep, I'm trying to sleep. So this is my primary computer now. I got this, um, I think, somewhere in October or something like that or November. Uh, I don't really remember. Hold, holding up amazing, right? No issues at all. Um, so that's one computer. I do have down here, this is a little space heater because I, we have, um, the heat in the apartment is unreliable. Uh, it works, but it's like, sometimes it's too cold. Sometimes it's way too hot. So I just prefer to use this. But anyway, this is my old computer that I used up until this past uh, fall and, or winter, whatever you want to say. Um, and it's still fully functional. I have no reason to get rid of it. I still have tons of files on there from all of my original like YouTube videos and things like that. So I didn't want to get rid of it. I mean, it's old. I'm not really going to get money for it. So I figured why not just keep both computers and I can hook this one up to my second monitor at a moment's notice. So if I have like a big project rendering on my main computer, I can hook up my second rig and I can still like browse the internet and even like set up um, music and live streams and things like that. This computer, I don't really use much, honestly. It, I just, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm not going to get money for it. I might as well just keep it. This is my fog machine that I also really only use during live streams. Um, it's just a fun like thing to have set up. So that way, if there's enough hype in chat, I can like turn on the, the fog machine. It was like 35 bucks on Amazon. So yeah. Um, if we take another look behind here, this is obviously one of the lights that has the um, hue lights in it. This is the keyboard to my second computer. This is like some like Sage and things like that. Um, this is the HomePod that controls like my lights and Apple Music and things like that as well. Um, fun fact, this is actually a wireless charging headset stand that I don't really use because there's not enough like space out here to use it. I mean, I could put it like right here, but it's just in the way most of the time. So anyway, um, again, I'll put the specs to everything in the description below, but these, this is my main setup here, two monitors, my new latest gaming monitor. You can see the difference in the screen quality, just even from here. Um, the blues are just way nicer on here. It's just a better screen overall. Um, this keyboard is the one that came with the iBuyPower. I do have obviously the old one that also was like rainbow colored or whatever. Um, Blue Yeti microphone. I cannot recommend this microphone enough. I've had this micro. This was like the first like investment. This and my um, Logitech, what is the C920. These two pieces of equipment were like one of the first things that I invested in when I started YouTube. And they have been so reliable and have been such good quality for so long. Like it's incredible. I, I, I just... I, I couldn't recommend anything else, honestly. Um, so let's go down a little bit more. That mouse, nothing special, came with the computer. This is where I keep all my uh, game consoles. This is also a six cube organizer and it's also very, 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 very uh, messy. <laughs> um, I don't know how to manage these cables. This is where I have the router. 
This is also, these are to control the hue lights. One of them is mine, one of my, my roommates. They have to be hardwired into the router. Um, I don't know of another way to do it, so if you do, let me know. But um, this is the ident an identical six cube organizer to the one that I showed you over here. Same exact thing, just no, no bins. Um, I have here is a PlayStation 2, the fat one. Um, sometimes I hook it up, not often. I have, what is this, a GameCube controller. Inside this bag is actually, um, this fabric bag is actually a, uh, well, let's just open it up and, and I will show you. Just uh, bear with me, why don't you, okay? Relax, take a sip of your beverage. So this is a, <laughs> Uh, a blue, I guess, I don't know the official color of this limited edition um, N64, but uh, yeah, it works amazing. I bought it from a friend back when I worked at the retro game store and it's got the expansion pack in the top so you can play Donkey Kong and any other game that really requires it or is enhanced by it. So that's that, I'll put this back in the bag after the video is over, let me just put this okay so we've got the xbox 360 this is any time that you see me recording like uh, modern warfare 2 gameplay or black ops 2 gameplay this is where we're doing it here we have my nintendo switch plugged in here um next to it is an old headphone amp to a headphone or to headphones that i don't use anymore i only still have it plugged in because sometimes i need it for the xbox but i haven't used it in a long time i've just been too lazy to get rid of it Wii U right here. This is the Legend of Zelda edition. Um, obviously, you can tell it's covered in dust, so I haven't really used it since I beat Breath of the Wild. Um, I did beat Breath of the Wild on the Wii U because I didn't have a Switch at the time. This is the Pokeball thing that came with Let's Go Pikachu. Then we've got some consoles that... Uh, the Wii is hooked up. I do, like, once every, like, three months play the Wii. The GameCube is not hooked up because there's no reason to hook it up you can just use the Wii and then same thing with the Dreamcast um, I only have a couple Dreamcast games and you know unless you have a CRT it's hard for them they don't really look good anymore honestly uh, and then here we have the PS4 Slim um, this is my scuff controller for it uh, I don't know how I feel about scuff anymore honestly I feel like the quality is just not there um, but this is the scuff impact I got this on Black Friday this past black friday i believe in anticipation of the new call of duty turns out the new cod is trash but anyway um we got a wave bird this is hooked up to the wii this is the best controller that you can have for a gamecube unless you're a smash player in which case you may argue that there's some sort of latency because it's wireless to which i would respond who really gives a shit anyway back here you can't even see it but i have my uh external hard drive plugged in this is a i think 500 gigabyte solid state drive covered in 14 pounds of dust so that's amazing and then up but uh, beneath my desk but on top of this we have like this is where i keep all my games so even though i have all the game cases like we've got all the games in here all my ps4 games xbox 360 games some uh the original animal crossing which i have never played roller coaster tycoon crazy crazy stuff uh this is the complete series of dragon ball z you probably saw it on my shelf as well, um, but all the discs are in there. And then we have my travel case for my Switch, and this is an external hard drive that I have plugged into my old computer, and that's that. Um, back there, we have the heater, heater that I don't use, um, and then we have my subwoofer. You can't even see in there, but I have a subwoofer for my speakers and everything like that. So I'm gonna stand up. Um, that's pretty much everything. We have my headset here, if you guys were wondering. Some people have asked me on live streams. This is the uh, Turtle Beach Stealth 700s. Um, so I have those. These are really great because you can use them either wireless or plugged in. Really cool. And then next to my bed, I have my old, old, old laptop. I have a Kindle that I just actually bought yesterday. Started loading up books to that. Really exciting. Living in New York, like this, I'm hoping is gonna save my life because subways, you don't have cell service. And yeah, this is an iPad Pro 10.5 inch. I think that's the 2018 model. Um, I use that mainly for watching videos and uh, playing uh, Rise of Kingdoms. If you've seen my Rise of Kingdoms videos, I play it on there often because bigger screen gives you better control over your armies, which is cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys are wondering how I record my gameplay, you can look back here and this is the Elgato uh, HD 60, the original one. I don't even think they sell that one anymore. I think they replaced it with the 60S 
and the 60s pro or something like that i don't know but yeah so that is pretty much it for the for the tour of the apartment and the game room and the game setup and my workstation how i record videos where i record videos and all that stuff um if you guys enjoyed this video if you found it uh helpful useful entertaining whatever make sure you drop a thumbs up so i know that you like enjoying this type of content and that you don't want to see just gameplay videos um with that being said subscribe if you're new around here uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions about my setup or about living in new york or anything like that i'll be happy to answer anything for you guys um links will be in the description below for some of the equipment that i use for gaming and for um editing and recording videos if you guys are interested in the specific stuff that i use um they'll probably be affiliate links Full disclosure it doesn't cost you any extra it just supports the channel if you do use those links in the description below um and with that being said guys subscribe turn on the bell click the bell smash the bell whatever people say these days and with that being said i will talk to you guys again soon peace